chairing uh, the committee or select committee on health and social development. A very dynamic comrade grounded and uh, today testimony since she has passed on was a confirmation. Even in that day we lost her. She was with us, not, not showing any signs that uh, that's the last day that will be with us. And she contributed on that particular day. She was happy as usual, always commending some of us when we are doing things that are correct. And she will confront us when she feels that things are not done the right way. But we will dearly miss the a dynamic comrade like her. May her departed soul rest in eternal peace. Indeed, we have lost a great soul. We are all pained by the passing of Honorable Gillian. However, we are comforted by the fact that she passed on while in the service of the people of South Africa. We do not pretend to understand the pain that the family is going through at the moment, but we wish you all the strength to go through this period of grief and to find ways of coping with, with this monumental loss. Praise a praise a I'm wearing a cap I have never worn before. This morning I got a call from the chief whip of Comrade Pemi Machotina, who told me to convey an apology on her behalf because she is far away representing our country. And uh, I am quietly told that she and the Speaker of Parliament and the Chair of our caucus are honoring this funeral by watching wherever they are. And I think it is in that regard that the convener of the province is being joined by me in thanking everybody who is honoring this gallant fighter today. I must tell the people of the Overbeck that they deserve better. That they deserve better. And that Comrade Morencia fought for us to be equal human beings in our country. People have said today and previously, Comrade Morencia put people first. She put community struggles first. She put the interests of ordinary people first. And as she moved into government, she didn't lose that understanding that the purpose of being a public representative and the purpose of serving in councils and in parliament and in executive office is not to feather one's own nest. The purpose of holding those positions is service. Please God. Uh, Morenci Gillian's funeral. We know her, our past cross as activists for more than 20 years. Uh, we served lastly as the uh, provincial leadership collective. I was a provincial secretary and she was provincial treasurer from uh, 2000 and, uh, 
2012 to 2015, sorry, 2015, 2008. Uh, uh, but she's been a member, she's an activist in this area, we're in the rural area of uh, Austin. Uh, she will be missed. We just put the lady to rest now, but she's got all the accolades. She was a woman, a women's league activist. Uh, she strongly cared for the disabled, the women, the children. Um, she was our first mayor in the district here of Overberg. So she cut it free starting from the lower ranks. She was a volunteer for eight years in the ANC as, as the advice office. Then she grew into the ranks. She was a, a, a national and a provincial leader for almost I think one of our longest serving PEC members, uh, more than 20 odd years as a PEC member of the Western Cape. So she shall be missed. She played an instrumental role in unifying the rural areas, uh, bringing women together, uh, the solidarity between African and colored communities. She always preached that. She was a pragmatic uh, uh, activist. She always cared for this, the poor. Um, here in this, in this community, the fishing issues was a big issue and she cared for that. Uh, Comrade Laurentia, uh, as we fondly knew her, um, I was uh, in the PEC, uh, the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC in the Western Cape with her, and uh, I was also fortunate to actually serve with her as members of the Provincial Legislature of the Western Cape. Uh, Comrade Laurentia was um, our, what the day we call Shadow MEC, uh, of social development and uh, she was one person very passionate about issues of um, uh, communities, issues of children, women, you know, the entire issues of uh, 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 social justice. Um, we also serve together uh, in the current interim provincial committee of the ANC here in the province um, and she was my convener actually because we deployed uh, with her in central Karoo. I mean, the furthest uh, region uh, in the province. 